like I think it's so important from my standpoint anyways to not lose that flavor and that sure, texture yeah. that comes with the germ of the brand. So we've been in Sturgeon County for a hundred, a little over 120 years now. Um, I'm a sixth generation Canadian farmer. Um, the town of Gibbons is named after my grandfather, actually. The biggest thing when I got started farming was we wanted to stick to the heritage varieties of everything we did. All of our livestock is heritage, all of our grains, our garden, vegetables, everything. And Red Fife um, is very dear to Canada. It was not only Canada's first commercially viable wheat, but it was North America's. When I was talking to John, I mean, he had a bunch of ideas. He was talking about the whole, the use of using the whole berry, and then obviously sifting the flour. And, and he's like, he, you know, he's explaining making bread is the obvious, but there's yeah. so many other things you can do. How it tastes is. Um, is also more of a terroir issue. Like it, it tastes more different more often. So when you take red fife and you plant it in one field, it might yeah. taste completely different than when you plant it in another one 10 miles away. You brought up the idea of doing some baby gnocchis. I think that'd be amazing. Cutting uh, them fresh. Yeah, I just like showing off that, uh, the nuttiness of everything going on in the flour, right? So yeah. it's kind of my favorite part is the, the nutty flavors that go on with it all and yeah, showcase absolutely. it. Tender, tender yeah. flour is going to take on a good bit of its own and really kind of be an earthy grounding to the whole plate. Well, I think in us talking about it together and using it together it really kind of like highlights the ability of what the ingredient can do, right? It's like yeah. from the prairies, it's really around us. And then you brought the local quails so we could make a really strong stock sauce. Mushroomy maybe with the morels in it. Mushroomy morels, we got pickling liquids, we could do raw and cooked pickled vegetables. What about taking these seeds, the um, the berries of the of the flower? From, um, we can cook them up and do a little more like risotto-y, ragu-y kind of feel because I kind of like it when sometimes you can take these guys and cook yeah. them so they're the, the tender and then you add the crunchy at the same time. You have a double combo of texture. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like thinking about playing around with the quails, boning them out. Uh, I want to take the legs, maybe just kind of like shank them down, kind of like that, fry them slightly, do the breast yeah. like a little pan sear, so you can yeah, have like yeah, a little yeah, breast like. And actually, I like this idea because it reminds you of those. It reminds me when you when you French these little these yeah. little quails. It reminds you of the old French uh, frog leg dishes that oh, yeah. they used to do, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and it's cool to just fry it, pick it up, bite it. That's neat. I like the idea. More than anything is when I get comments from people who yeah. come to me and said, "Just so you know." Like my daughter or my son, the very first food he ever put into his mouth was our oats. You are responsible yeah. for the very first taste of food that somebody yeah. ever had. That's, That's cool. pretty powerful, right? For sure I mean, it is. You want to keep doing that.